sum of elements in an array. So given an array, I want you to find the sum of all the elements in the array. Not using loops. Loops I know you will write it immediately. Using recursion. Think about it guys. I uh, will give you two minutes time. Come out with a beautiful solution for me. So guys, uh, how are we going to recursively write a solution for this? See, this is how my approach would be. I will basically call a function. I will pass the array to it. This is that array. 1, 2, 3, 4. Obviously, there are uh, index uh, values and uh, maybe I will call this as AR. Anything you want, you can call it. The point is very simple. I am going to have one i here. What is the duty of this i if you ask me? See, if I want to find the sum of all elements in, of an array of 1, 2, 3, 4, don't you think I can break it into a smaller problem where first I find the sum of all elements of 1, 2, 3, then add 4 to it. It will still work. Break that into a smaller problem where I find all the elements of an array 1, 2, then add 3 to it. Break it into a smaller problem where I find the sum of all the elements in when there is a single element, then add 2 to it. It will work. So what I will do here is, I will I want to reduce the size and i initially of 0, which is nothing but the first element. So what I will do is like this here, i is 0. So what I am going to do is, ar of 0, I will keep it aside. Now I will find this, see you can reduce it from this side also, you can reduce it from this side also. If you make i as the last index, you can keep reducing and coming. If you make i as the first index, you can keep increasing and going. So now ar of 0, I will keep it aside. Now I want to find the sum of all these elements. So what I will do is, again, so I will just keep it, plus I will keep it aside. Again, I will call the same function. When I call the same function, what is going to happen is, I will pass the same array. But I want i to start from the next element. So see, I have increased the value of i and sent. So i will become 1. How come clear? But before I find all this, I want to find these two. So I want to like reduce 3 into 2. So what I will do is, whichever element i is pointing to, that I will keep it aside. So plus ar of i, or in this case it is 1. Are you able to think? I will tell plus and I will keep it ready. Now I want to reduce this. So what I will do is, I will call the same function, pass the same array itself. I will pass the same array. But i I will increment and send. So 1 becomes 2. So i moves forward, it is 2. Right? So that is what I am showing. Now whichever element i is pointing to, in this case ar of 2, I will keep it aside. Because I want to break it down into a smaller problem. So ar of 2. I will tell plus and keep it aside. And now what I will do is, uh, I want only this. So what I will do is, I will again call the same function. Recursively I will call it. And this time what I will do is, i I will increment and send. Which means i becomes 3. The moment i becomes 3, then that whatever is there in ar of i, in this case ar of 3, I will keep it aside. I will keep it aside. And then what I will do is, again now I want to break it down. Now when I break it out even more, there are 0 elements present. So watch it. Now I will increase i and I will send it. If I increase i and send it this time, i value, obviously uh, the same array I will be, I mean, sending it, i value is 4. 4 means i has gone outside. So if i goes outside the array, then I have hit my base. Now how will you write this condition if i has gone outside, if you ask me? Very simple. Check if in case i is equal to the length of this array. What is the length of this array? Uh, 4 characters. What is the value of i? 4. If i is equal to the length, then I know that it has gone beyond the last index because index begins from 0. How many of you understood this logic perfectly? Put a yes in the chat. Let me see till here the base condition, how many of you understood? Hmm? Understood? Okay, good, good. Now, <clears throat> please understand. This is my base. So that is what I am showing. This is my base. Okay. Now what I will do is, what I have to return here is, obviously if there are no elements, if I have broken it down where there are no elements, then the sum of no elements is 0, so return 0. That is what I am also just showing. So this is my base condition and I will return 0. 0 plus AR of 3 is nothing but 4. That I will return. 4 uh, plus uh, AR of 2, AR of 2 is nothing but 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 I will return. 7 plus AR of 1 is nothing but 7 plus 2, 9. 9 I will return. 9 plus AR of 0, AR of 0 is 1, 9 plus 1 is 10 and obviously 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is nothing but 10. 
and this is the recursive relationship. If you want to find the sum of an array AR, then pass I also, which will have the first index. If you want to find that, break it down into a smaller problem. How will you break it down into a smaller problem? AR comma I plus 1 plus AR of I. I hope this recurrence relationship is clear to all of you. How many of you this is clear? Please put a yes. If it is not clear, please put a no. I don't mind. Hmm? Clear guys? Beautiful. Okay. Now let us just quickly go write the code for this. So in my editor, uh, I'll just minimize that function and keep. Okay. It's already minimized. I'll remove that uh, last line, last two lines because here we don't want a string. We want an array. Okay. Cool. I'll just go and I'll tell static. Uh, what I have to return is the sum, which is an integer and sum is the name of the function which accepts an integer array AR and what accepts uh, I as the initial value. Inside that first my base condition if in case I is equal to the length of this array AR, AR dot length and you know it is a variable so see do not put parenthesis. Then if that is the case I will uh, return and what I should return is 0 that is what I will tell. Otherwise what I will tell is return this sum of AR same array but I want to reduce so move I forward sum of I plus AR I plus 1 increment the value of I and uh, yes semicolon and plus AR of I AR of I hmm? Hmm. any confusion till this point of time guys okay now I will come down here and I am just going to uh, basically uh, I do not want to write now see I will have to create an array write a for loop to take elements you do all that guys I do not want to do it. What I would like to do is just very simple I will just uh, uh, directly pass an array. So sum and see there uh, directly I will pass an array. So inside that I will put an array uh, no, uh, just normal parenthesis okay then leave it outside you create and pass. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 1, 2, 3, 4. I will pass AR and obviously I will initially always be 0 because I has to begin from first. Now, uh, um, okay. Hmm. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4 is nothing but 10. I hope I am clear with this. So I hope uh, whatever recursive programs we wrote today. How many recursive programs have we written totally go on top? So we have looked at uh, Fibonacci, print n, sum count of digits, sum of digits, reverse string, palindrome and of course sum of the elements in the array and even more programs we have done which I have not really mentioned it here. Okay. However, in the next class when you come, I am going to be taking recursion to a level above where I am going to be solving a problem which is asked in Microsoft for a 12 lakh per annum job. The name of this problem is the Josephus problem, very famous, it is a mathematical problem. But the recursive solution is so small that it will be unbelievable for you, that was so easily you can write. But that is that is the question asked for a 12 lakh per annum job. So, in today's class, this is all I would like to discuss. Now you must go practice. Please practice recursion. Guys, just I want you to understand, okay? If you just look at the content I have provided you on the LMS and the content which we are uh, discussing in the live class, in this entire planet, again it is not exaggeration, in this entire world, show me one more course which in such a structured manner is able to convey so much of information to you in such less time. And don't ever ever worry about placement opportunities. By the time you finish almost close to about 70 to 80 percent of the course, when you have the knowledge ready with you, you will see I will open the doors and there will be a flood of companies which will come. When companies start to shower on you, you don't start to shiver them. Now prepare.
prepare 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 keep yourself ready and when the opportunities come be ready to grab it be ready to grab it today just imagine tomorrow if a company comes you attend they had asked you to reverse a string using recursion you would have not got the job so the point here is you have to first prepare yourself prepare yourself rest will inevitably happen whatever has to happen will happen things will fall into place i hope i'm clear guys